Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And again, hello to you folks in Brownsville, Jackson, Memphis, and all East Arkansas, North Mississippi. And uh, you folks know out there that uh, I have a long association with the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. And uh, always happy to uh, do what I can to help spread the word. And and Frank Barton is my co-host. Frank, you know, I keep up with uh, the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission also. I, I have a... Uh, I feel like this, and Frank has told me, you know, this is, I have a duty here, I think, uh, to keep the Mid-South uh, in touch with, uh, with, with the Wildlife Commission. And, Frank, you know that uh, how important uh, the commissioners are and those who uh, do this out of service are to the uh, Arkansas sportsmen. Right, Frank? Uh, absolutely. And Frank does not want to be one. I mean, I'm not, you know, he's busy enough as it is. But uh, the next guy on the show with us, he's a third timer. And uh, I don't know if that ties any record or not. I don't, uh, I, I can't remember. Uh, Commissioner Hensley was on for more than anybody else. I don't know if uh, Bill Cox is going to break his record or not, but we're happy to have with us on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Probably the man that has really helped me in my career, deal with a lot of different things, a man I respect, a man I, of integrity, and a man that I know is not doing this except he wants to serve the people and the voice of West Tennessee. And so, Commissioner Cox, congratulations, if that's the right Thank word. You, Good morning. That's it. Good morning, Frank. Is, that's, that's the right word, Frank. Let's, let's, so, so, Bill, talk about it. I, two times, you took your, you took your tenure off. And now you're back. Uh, it's yeah, not, I, um, it's not and I any... appreciate those kind words, Larry. We, you know, I didn't realize the first time I was on your show in 2001. Yes, that that was your first year, I think. Of that's right, being on the air. Twenty but years this year. Yeah, I served six years the first time, and six years and eight months the second time. Which, which you know, I was surprised when Governor Haslam. Uh, appointed me and and I've really enjoyed it and I've worked hard and and uh, enjoyed the 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 gentle men and gentle ladies that I have been associated with on the commission and and I thought well you know what I was off for two years and still stayed in touch went to a few meetings and uh, met the new uh, appointees and I thought well you know what I'm just going to I'm going to give it a shot and, and ask the speaker Sexton to consider me. And, uh, he appointed me. So I was very proud of that and humbled. And, and, uh, you, I've told you before when, when you get to work with the, when you enjoy the outdoors and conservation and hunting and fishing, and you get to work with the, what I consider to be the most professional people in the country at, at Tennessee wildlife resources agency, it's an honor. And you were uh, are one of five uh, newcomers to the list. Chris Devaney, uh out of uh, District 4, the Chattanooga area, is coming on. And a lot of folks know uh, uh, Commissioner Devaney from his uh, political uh, organization and his media experience. And then also uh, Wally Childress. Uh, he's a farmer from Bogota. How about Stan Bud? Bogota. Excuse Bogota. me. Bogota. Excuse me. Yep. And Stan Bud, he's a dairyman from Portland, uh, Tennessee, not uh, not Oregon. Thank goodness. Uh, with a degree in wildlife management. And and how about Monty Ballou, uh, uh from Henry County? So uh, and I know Mr. Monty from his long career in hunter safety and ducks unlimited and all these different things. So you're going in with a a new group, and I understand. That uh, that you also got um, some kind words uh, presented to you from uh, Senator Frank Nicely. So I, I know that. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I read where he dressed you down, Bill. So uh, well, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, <laughs> it, it was in personal, but no, Frank it wasn't. Had some, yeah. He's been uh, uh, sometimes a harsh critic of the agency over the years. And, yes, he has. <laughs> and, my, and my first uh, when I was chairman in two thousand and five. I went up to the to the uh, uh, joint committee, Senate House committee, and and the agency was there. And as chairman, I went and 
my first uh, trial by fire, uh, Senator Nosley was a representative then, and yes. he dressed the agency down to me, so it wasn't really at me. It was uh, no, it was at you. chance for him to, to, to air his <laughs> complaints, and I brought that up at the, at the at the confirmation hearing the other day, and and he and uh, he uh, since I called his name in committee, yes, he responded and he had some criticisms. But we talked after the meeting, and you know, uh, Frank's okay. He's got he's a real conservative guy. I like him. He's uh, he's just got some strong thoughts on the way the agency needs to handle itself, and he's not he's not he's not wrong totally. He's you know he's may have one side of the story but he's not completely wrong so yes i followed up with bobby wilson <laughs> by the director so well i think uh, it was a real uh the way you handle it is the way i would expect bill cox to handle it i mean uh <laughs> you know because i i drug up some old things there and uh there's no doubt uh, you are not andy griffin you're not barney fife so let's uh <laughs> when it comes to the boating situation but talk about the uh, as frank barton listens in uh Three times. Uh, I mean, most people have a real rough. It's it's a, it's it's not all fun and games. I know you guys get such a big salary for doing this. How about zero? Yeah. How about zero. Yeah. And, so I know uh, my you. My wife have, likes to joke. I, my I, wife likes to joke that I'd pay them to let me do it. That's uh, what I was going to ask you. What your wife said. I mean, you had to. Did you did you talk to your brother, your wife, and all your family and said, "I, I want to do this" because uh, it takes time. Well, I did talk to my I talked to my brothers because they enjoyed the service. And they yes. When yeah. I was on it before, because they knew I did, and uh, and Cindy really enjoyed it. Cindy enjoys the agency people and the and the commission and the and the wives of of the agency people and the commissioners and yes. the ladies in the administrative office. And so they were all excited that I might have a chance to do it again. And it is difficult. And like I said, I'm honored and uh, humbled. And um, it's, uh, I think Tom's Tom Hensley still got, <laughs> he's got the he's record got me beat and that's yeah. fine. I'm not in a race for anybody, but uh, five brand new yeah. commissioners every two years to yeah. me, it's, is not not really uh, healthy for the commission because it takes a couple of years to ever it does yeah figure things out much in in two or three years so I've got some institutional knowledge that the agency you know would I've talked to Bobby and they're glad that I'm back on because I can uh, I can help them and 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 the chairman of the commission is glad that I'm back on it and he put me in charge the chairman of the budget committee and. So it's I'm looking forward to it, and it's going to be um, rewarding. And it is hard sometimes. I told Kurt Holbert, who's a just past chairman, "Yes, y'all hurry up and get this duck blind decision done. <laughs> I don't still be hanging out here when I get back on. You just that over. Let's just do it." Well, I think you've done it, and uh, I, I know uh, uh, the Cox family uh, means so much to Collierville from your your late father, and laying that foundation and uh, the love of the outdoors. That comes along with this thing, uh, Bill, and uh, and I think that uh, uh, the first thing I asked Bill, uh, I, I text, uh, emailed him or whatever it was, when I got my new calendar in the mail uh, that I thought I already had a, a new yearly calendar, and I discovered that, uh, that uh, which I've always wanted them to do, is start in January and go to the end of the year, you know, so, uh, and so it wouldn't go from summer to summer, but... Uh, a lot of folks were surprised to that. Uh, uh, talk you know, when you got a second calendar, I think I misunderstood the question because of two things have happened lately. The last year, the calendar got printed with some mistakes yes. on it. And, yes, we had to come back with some. A, yeah. That was a huge issue, and they had to pay to have it done again, and they've taken steps that that, that won't happen again. And then we had a, some updates on the website where – uh, recently, and I thought that's what you were referring to, but the calendar on the website, they usually don't change uh, the fall uh, seasons until after turkey season, so there's no confusion of overlap of, of of the year. But I think we're changing that now because there was some somebody asked a question about it was confused, and when the uh, they're going to change it and make sure the year that those apply for the fall deer hunts are included. Kind of thing are, yeah have the year and not just the days and uh going to change flip that calendar on the website before turkey season's over 
and then then post next year's turkey season. Well, that's after that. Yeah, that's what so, you, that's what you need to do because you know this one doesn't say winter or anything along that line. It says 2021 right. calendar, and we've had so many. Particularly, you brought up the duck blind situation. It needs to be uh, finalized, and uh, I see in the calendar that you folks should get if you have a sports lifetime license like I do. Sportsman's license, you'll see up there, it will give you directions on where to go on the website to get the up-to-date uh, on information on the migratory birds, season, yep. things along that line, and all the other things that goes in. So what's well, what's your objective, Bill? Uh, I mean, what's you've got a couple of minutes I, there. What do you look the, for? Uh, what do you want to do? I want to... Um... I want to keep the agency on a sound financial footing. I don't want us to be in a situation, uh, I'd like to say ever again, but ever is a long time to ever have to to increase the fees anymore. We've got, you know, you probably know that probably because of COVID and probably because of some of our outreach, our R3 program that we added uh, 200 odd thousand license sales from yes. last year, yeah. uh, from the previous year. And that's a, that's a large chunk of money. And w- I'm hopeful and I'm going to get a review of the budget and do some long range planning in July, Good. um, yeah. with the budget committee and, and try to see if we can't, uh, uh, hold on to those dollars and those licensed buyers, and you won't hold all of them, but you can hold some. Yes, yeah. And see if we can't live within our means. And you know, I would. I hate to say this because it say it. it's a, it's really hard to do, but I'd like to see the licenses reduced. Uh, oh, if yeah. we've got the money to do it, let's let's amen. Let's reduce license fees a little bit, and and and. And show that we're trying, and and then and I think it gives the oh, yeah. it would give us a lot of credibility if we have to come back in five years or six or seven years and say we need you know or even two or three years yes. at least we're trying to to give some back and then uh, review it after two or three years and and uh, I would like to see that and I'm not saying that that's going to happen but you asked me of goals and that would be a goal of mine. Well, that's a that's a great goal and your folks heard it. Uh, First, right here on Outdoors with Larry Ray. We appreciate the TWRA being a strong part of this show, Bill, and I know your efforts over the years. Uh, we do our best here, and I, I'm just – I'm tickled pink, if that's still a phrase you can use in today's society, okay, um, to have you well, back I'm on. I'm glad. I appreciate that, Larry. And anything uh, – we're going to stay in touch with you. I know his phone's always available. You can drive out to Collierville. He might pump gas for you. I don't know. He'll <laughs> – He'll be out there. Bill Cox, thank you, man. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate it. Thank you, Frank. All right, we'll stay in touch. Frank Barton, you still there? I'm still here. Hang on there. We're going to talk a little sport and clays next. Let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry and be right back.